Welcome to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show, a real estate investment program. Listen and learn how to use real estate to build wealth and passive income streams for you and your family. We bring you experts every day to discuss and answer your questions on everything from single family homes all the way up to 600 plus unit apartment complexes. And now, the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome to the show. My name is Al Gordon, and as always, we're working on your financial freedom. One of the things that our founder and CEO, Del Wamsley, says is that you need to focus on a methodology that will allow you to double your income over time and to double your investment over time. Now, those, those are two different approaches. I've got two Lifestyles Unlimited members that are going to help me out today. The first guy we're going to talk to is a guy that's totally re-imaging his life. Yeah, he's, he's totally changing everything. And I'll tell you what, the guy's got a brilliant mind. As a matter of fact, a little while ago, I'd received an email from this gentleman. And what Ken had sent me was a, a pretty darn good market analysis. And he was making some, some very good arguments for why he invests in the Arizona markets. And, and I'll tell you what, I read that thing and I just chimed in on every point that he made. Once I was done reading that, Ken had actually helped me to change my investing strategy. Yes, he did. And I was so excited. I, I called Ken up a couple minutes before the show and I said, Hey, uh, Ken, can I use your, your stuff? I mean, cause this is brilliant. I, w- I want other people to, to hear this information. And he said, yeah, go for it. So I presented the information to you guys and, and I think I did a pretty good job of it, but I, but I did get a couple things a little bit off because here's what I did. I, my elation to, to get the information out to you. I didn't do all my backstory research on Ken. And I, I actually said a couple things that were incorrect. And, and I want to set the record straight because at the end of the day, I don't want to give bad information to anyone. That's not why I'm here. My, my role here is to give you the best information possible because I want you to change your life just like Ken did. Now, the other thing I want to share with you is that later on, I'm going to have Chris on the show and, and we're going to talk to Chris about a property that you'll be able to see next week at our expo event. But before we get into that, I want to get into this conversation with Ken, because one of the neat things about Lifestyles Unlimited is that you get to meet so many brilliant people. And and Ken is one of these people. Ken came to Lifestyles Unlimited because he wanted to change the trajectory of his life. And I will tell you this, He took the bull by the horns, and in spite of the fact that he joined Lifestyles Unlimited right about the time, well, just before COVID decided to to make its presence on the world stage, he started making a a change in his life. So I'm going to stop talking because I want you to hear directly from Ken. Ken, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing great, thanks. Can we just crack into your skull? Is it okay if we just get into that brilliant mind of yours? Thanks. I appreciate the compliment. Oh, I, I know. It's, yeah. it's, it, it sounds like I'm being. It sounds like I'm being facetious, but I, but I, I really mean that. When when you sent that that research out, you gave me information that I had been looking for that I didn't have to go to a brokerage to get. So I didn't get you know a brokerage spin on it. What I got was information that was raw and and very specific, and it was detailed towards the things that we look at in the Lifestyles Unlimited community. I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was amazing that you did that. And and you just, you just sent that out freely, right? Yeah, no charge. Um, You know, my, my job is to help, you know, as as a lead with the program to help educate people and my passive investor group, um, frankly, anyone else as well, if I can. Um, So, I I review a lot of market information and try and boil it down because a lot of it, you know, you really have to sift through it and figure it out and boil it down and, and send it out so people are excited about, you know, their potential to change their future through through this program, really. Yeah, what I think is so interesting is that you were able to 
take some pretty complicated information and all right i'll just say it you kind of dumped it down to an eighth grade level so a knucklehead like me could fully understand it but my point is this it's salient information it's information that was specific to the needs of your fellow investor and you got to admit this lifestyle is unlimited community that we're a part of. It's it's not like you you have this feeling like you got to give information away, right? But it's it's more like a feeling where you want to share because other people are sharing information with you, are they not? Yeah, they they are. I mean, you know, I think our 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 philosophy is that everything's in abundance, right? So there's you know you hear people saying, oh gosh, there's no. I can't find a deal. You know, there's no, no deals. There's still going to be, are people selling properties this year? Could you buy one at a good price or uh, whatever? So we, you know, we believe in abundance. I certainly do. And, and so if I can share information, uh, you know, why not? It helps all of us. And if we all, all grow and all get better and we, we all do these investments together, then, then our lives are all better. So that's my giving back, I would say, at least, you know, what I can do now. So how did you stumble across Lifestyles Unlimited? I mean, you were in Southern California at the time you heard about us. What's that? Yeah, Southern California. Yeah, I was in Southern California at the time. And actually a guy I've known for 20 plus years uh, who was actually hired me into a company. He knew I was interested in real estate. I, I was looking at doing clips and, you know, I became an agent because I thought, you know, that at least would get me in the, in the real estate mindset and maybe I'd find a path. And so I was like, yeah, if I have to buy a house for eight hundred thousand in California and put three hundred thousand in it to renovate it and flip it, hmm, that's a lot of money. So that kind of got squashed pretty quick. And my buddy said, "Hey, let me show you uh, some things about this lifestyle is unlimited." He showed me some of the education, and then he then he started telling me how it worked, and and then he started showing me checks, his his quarterly distributions or his cash out refunds, and they. They, they were big. Yeah, and that got your attention in a heartbeat. I'll tell you what, we're getting ready to go to break. When we come back, we're going to find out what Ked did once he saw those big checks. It's going gonna, it's gonna to amaze you. Stick around. Welcome back to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Now, let's get back to your map to financial freedom. Welcome back to the show. As we're going to break, Ken was sharing with you the backstory on how he found out about Lifestyles Unlimited. Now, he was he was on the left coast. He was way out in Southern California, but somebody he knew turned him on to Lifestyles Unlimited. That's that's how a lot of our members become members, is they know somebody who is a member. And that's that's how Ken got introduced to our culture. Now, Ken, you saw these these big checks. Now, did, did you think your buddy was bragging, or was he really trying to show you that maybe there was a different path you could go down? Yeah, yeah that's, that's the interesting thing and uh, that I really love about Lifestyles. There's people that are just starting out, and there's people who have become immensely successful and they're not bragging by sharing They're they're sharing because they're like, you could be doing this. That basically anyone could be doing this. So let me, let me open your eyes for you. And no, he wasn't bragging at all. I have known him for a long time. And he was like, I put a hundred thousand dollars into this deal and I got a check for 250 or I put, so I put 200, 200 in this deal. And I just got a check. Look, it's 500. I was like, wow, those are some, those are big numbers. Like how long is there, you know, 24 months, a year or three years on different deals. So no, I was very, very happy and didn't feel he was bragging at all. So he was showing me an alternative path for my life. So what did you do with that information? I uh, went to the two day class, you know, online, you can sign up for the, uh, actually I signed up for the like, I don't know, half day class or a couple hour class, just the intro. And then, I said, oh, I'm definitely going to the two-day class, and, and that's where you learn single family you know, on Saturday and then multifamily on Sunday. And I, I was I was done at that point. So I, I wrote a check at the end of the day and, and signed up. It's life-changing information. So, And I knew it was real, so 
you know, I took action and then uh, about five months later, I became a you know, lead investor as well as a, as a passive investor because I, I clearly saw that was going to be my future. So you've, you've done a few different things. Now, you've, did you have some single family properties before you became a member or did you pick some up after joining? So I picked some up uh, essentially right, right as I joined. So I, I you know, went, went through the process. I had ooh, one, two, three, four, four doors, um, single families, and then I had that small commercial building, and then I had some vacant land that I leased out. Then I renovated the single families and then uh, properties remotely. I only went to them like once to inspect it when I, before I purchased, and then... Uh, hired contractors, and then once they were done with their work, I, I went and inspected, and then and then paid them and leased them out. I, I leased them out remotely as well. How hard was it to do that? Pretty easy, you know. It's a little a little uh, intimidating because you know you go through the training, and people are like, "Yeah, this is, you can do this, no problem." We got people in Hawaii doing it, and places in Texas or wherever. But um, you know, with all the software that's available out there. You put properties on online and, and rent them out, no problem. And uh, I even had a, a company that put on, you know, we had an electronic door lock that they sign up for, and then they can just go open the door and check it out. And if they like it, lease it. So pretty, pretty simple. A little, like I said, a little, a little intimidating in the beginning, but you got to just trust the training and know that it's right and go for it. Yeah, I agree with you a hundred percent. So you, you, You've got these single family properties. You've got that piece of raw land you, that you're getting income off of. You've got that commercial building, but you also decided to get involved with multifamily investing, not only as a passive investor investing with somebody else, but you decided to take the bull by the horns and actually go out and find properties. And then bring, you brought along other Lifestyles Unlimited members to invest with you. You've pretty much covered all the bases regarding the different modalities that we teach. So here's my question for you, Ken. Which one is the one that's going to take you forward? Oh, so the so single families were more for learning and proving that I, I could do this remotely. Also, I saw a path that potentially I could I could replace my income with that, but I did the math. I have a pretty good income, but I did the math. I was like, well, that's way too many ounces. I can't. That's just not going to work at five hundred bucks a house. You know, even though you know you're making money, you know, you have equity when you buy it, and you have obviously you know maybe forty or fifty thousand in equity when you sell it. That wasn't that wasn't enough to replace my income. So multifamily just had to become the path, and then passive investing would take me too long um, to get where I want to go. So it was clearly becoming a syndicator where you're raising the money, you're finding the deals, raising the money and putting it all together. Um, that was definitely going to be able to retire me in, you know, in three years, basically. And that's the, that's the plan I'm on. Are you using the same model that you use to organize and rehab and operate your single families? Um, with your multifamilies, or are you at those properties like all the time? How how does that work for you? So I think one of you know one of the interesting things about lifestyles is there is no one path, right? So people can join and they could do the single family path, they can do the multifamily path, and then even within each of those, there's different ways to go. So the multifamily, you know, we've got very successful people who buy you know, properties that are just, you know, in horrific condition and they do these massive renovation projects and they have their own construction teams and their own property management companies. I said, you know, I have a, I have a job. I don't have time for all that, but I do have time to do this. And we have other people that are very successful with full-time jobs doing it. So I said, well, maybe I can get a kind of a you know, hybrid that has some rehab, et cetera. But then I that wasn't even really going to work out for me, I didn't think. So I found ones that were completely done and uh, just bought them. They're fully renovated. And um, we've made uh, almost $2 million on the first one and, and uh, two months, $2 million probably on the second one, roughly. And that one I bought in, in July. So so I have a team that will do the management for me, a property management company. And then a future deal would look something like instead of buying one that's totally done, a future one will be 
one that someone's already done stuff to it and the model's there. And then all I have to do is continue rolling it out. I'll have a property management team that has a construction arm that will then finish the work. So we'll have meetings on planning and you know design concepts and things like that. But they're going to manage the day to day. And I need to visit you know once a week or once every two weeks to make sure everything's going okay. And and that that works really well. Man, it sounds like you've got this investing thing all dialed in. I I wonder where you learned all of this, Ken. I'll tell you what, when we come back from the break, I'm going to ask Ken that question. Now, from the files of Dell Wamsley. You buy a rent house, we go buy a 10, 15,000 below market to start with. Used to be 25 or 50,000 below market. But let's just say 10 or 15,000 below market. So you make an instant $10,000 on, let's say, $25,000 down. So we've already made a 30 or 40% gain on our investment the day we bought it. We own the house. If we want to, we could sell the house for profit right now because we can. Not in the 401k you can't because you have to pay penalties and interest and taxes and and all kinds of stuff. But I could sell the house right now. I could do 1031 and take the capital gain and, and pay no taxes on the capital gain. Or I could hold it and rent it. Now, for 30 years, while you're paying $500 a month into your 401k, my rent house is paying me $500 a month to own it. Stick around. Listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show will change your life. We will teach you how to create wealth and passive income so you can be financially free. And now, back to your host. Welcome back to the show. All right, Ken, let's just get right to that stupid question that I was going to ask you because we all know the answer to it. Where did you learn to do all this stuff? To uh, this place called Lifestyles Unlimited, uh, uh, education and mentoring program out of Houston, Texas. Oh, it's not a swingers club? It's not a swingers club. Uh, it's not a swingers club. I know that I, I get that every once in a while. I'll get an <laughs> yeah, email from somebody saying, hey, I'd like to join the swingers club, and I have to kind of set the record straight. They <laughs> obviously got the wrong email address. So, Yeah, but by the way, if, if you have a question real estate related and you want to send me a real estate related question, uh, don't ask me what Lifestyles Unlimited means, but ask me anything, you can send me that email at askal at l-u-i-n-c dot com. And trust me, if I don't know the answer, I, I know people like Ken who probably does have the answer, and I, I I have no problems asking other people to make sure you get the results you're looking for. And Ken, I mean, that's that's really at the, the root cause of where you're at today with your investing. You're getting the results that you were looking for, are you not? I'm getting even you know better results, quite frankly, significantly better. It, this is changing my. I had a you know the I think one of the lifestyles mantras kind of you know what gets in the way of a great life is a good life, and so you know I am the foundation and building blocks in place right now through lifestyles to have a, a an amazing life, not just a great life, and I have a pretty good one, but. You know, two years from now, I think anyone would say, wow, you've got, you you know, you have an amazing life. So that's where I'm headed and really do the lifestyles. Yeah, it's it's a it's a complete change in mindset. I mean, how, how OK, let me ask you a question that, that is probably not a nice question, but I'll just ask you, how old are you as of today? Fifty nine. Fifty nine. OK. And I'm I'm fifty seven. And at at what age did you make this this radical change in your life? You're with fifty six, I'm guessing, right? If I'm my math is still working. Yeah. You know, my original idea in life was kinda of retire fifty, fifty five and then, you know, through all kinds of different things that that just didn't pan out. And I said, I I, I still believe I can have this fantastic life and how am I how am I going to get there? And then this, you know, friend told me about the program and I, I started working it and it became clear that in two to three years of being, you know, a lead that that, that was really possible. If I, any income you want, uh, you could you could conceivably have in a five year window. At the age of sixty one, you should hit that that target where you want to be. You will have that amazing life. But here's here's the crutch, Ken, are you ready for it? Mm-hmm. The government says you're too young to retire. They 
they won't allow you to draw your Social Security benefits because you're too young. You, you know the government says you're too young to retire and have that amazing life, right? Well, I was just going to use that money to buy a sports car because it's irrelevant at that point. Uh, I like the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not a sports car, but, but replace something else in there. You know, I, honestly, I could care less about Social Security. And I, I won't draw down on it because, uh, one, I won't need it. Second, I, I'm going to wait until later where I get a maximum benefit. And then, you know, that would be like my toy money or something at that point. Now, you're you're still working uh, a W-2 job, are you not? I, I do. I've worked from home on that job for the entire time uh, that I've been here almost six years. So COVID just meant I had more teams meetings than, than anything else. You know, I didn't <laughs> travel. So it gave me, instead of traveling to the Philippines or wherever where I used to go, um, I had a, a lot of free time to, to work on real estate. So thank you, COVID. Um, it's been a blessing, quite frankly. And, and I guess the point I want to make is, okay, you, you have that, that job. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you have to put a certain amount of time into that job. Is, is that a fair statement? Yeah, it's, we have a lot of morning meetings, so I'm pretty pressed in the mornings. Uh, afternoon, I kind of free up in the middle of the day. I don't take any lunch or anything. I just I work on real estate. And then maybe some meetings in the early evening, and then I work on real estate on early evening and look for deals. Well, you know, a lot of searching on the Internet for deals. And then um, on the weekends, I, I do stuff and go look at property. So, you know, I'm pretty busy around the clock right now. But um, like I said, in about a year, I expect to be uh, not not so busy. Yeah, and I think the the neat thing, Ken, is that just in the the short amount of time you've been a member, and the fact that you've you've done all the things that you were taught to do, and you're you're excelling with with just about everything you touch here. Uh, well, let's just call it what it is. Everything you touch is doing well because you are operating correctly. You're finding the right assets. You've you've made more traction in your life in these these last couple of years than you made prior to lifestyles is that a fair statement yeah for sure i mean you know the first two properties have uh, done more than a hundred percent return one in like seven eight months the other in 14 months so that's that's pretty good that's really opening a door to then to, to ramp up to significantly larger properties and and that's where that's where everything becomes really life changing at that point. Once you have the if you're a lead and doing you know much larger deals, that that definitely changes your life. You haven't left that job yet, but I think what's happened in your life is that you've you've hit that control point. In other words, you could leave whenever you want. You know, it's kind of up to you. Are are you there? I I could leave today and be just fine, and and probably I have some other things brewing. So in about six months, I, I can leave with no thought of looking back and then just replicating that. That's the cool thing. You know, you look at your, you look at your pay and say, okay, I make this much. Well, if I do two deals, I make this much. And then if you do another one, well, that's another big chunk because Dell always says, and then you do another one, that's another big chunk. So all of a sudden you've replaced your income. The three, three deals running simultaneously replaces my income. Not, not only replaces it, probably all said and done with more than double it. And they also provide a pile of money for you so you can get that fourth deal going so that when it's time for you to get rid of the first one, your cash flow isn't wrecked. You, your your quality of life stays where it's at. I mean, it's it's a beautiful thing. It's like a caterpillar walking, right? I like to call it the perpetual money machine. Oh, I like I like you know, your we're, definition. We're, we're, we're looking for, you know, perpetual motion or whatever. Seems not like, wait a second. This is a perpetual money machine. I just keep buying. You know, you don't want to have too many properties because then, then it becomes a big headache. Well, you know, it depends on, on what you want. If you want a job uh, to manage, you could have thousands of apartments, and, and you could be very su- incredibly successful at that. Or you can keep it to kind of, you know, a couple, three, a couple hundred-unit apartments, maybe three of those, or maybe you get to 200, and, and then that cash flow is plenty to live on. And then you have the sale and refi money that, that basically doubles that money uh, that comes in in chunks. So 
at that point, I'm done. I, you know, I don't need any more money than that. Yeah, I think I think everybody has an upper limit, you know. But you have to admit, we we do have Lifestyles Unlimited members that have reached that one billion dollars in assets. I mean, that's a huge number. I don't think Ken, you're going to go there. I'm not sure I'm going to go there, but it's it's really cool that if we decided to, we could. Ken, thanks for being on the show. Looking forward to seeing you. And man, holy smokes, good luck with your next apartment community. Now, from the files of Del Wamsley. Now there's really no limitation to whatever you want to have in your life. Why? We can borrow all the money to buy an apartment complex. We can borrow the mortgage. Then we need a down payment. We can raise capital with partners to get the down payment money. And so money's no longer a limitation. Since the loans don't go on our credit reports, there's it doesn't affect our credit score. There's no credit problems we get non-recourse loans so there's no limitation on how much we can borrow it's not like a house where they say well you can only have so much debt and then you you mess up your debt to income ratio no it doesn't even touch our debt to income ratio so we can do as much as we want we only have so much time but that doesn't matter we just hire more people the more business we do the more people we hire the more money uh, we make and so we have unlimited potential earnings that way we come back from the break. We're going to talk to Chris. Stick around. Welcome back to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. It's time to turn up the volume and fine-tune your passive income plan so you can create the lifestyle you've always wanted. Welcome back to the show. Hey, I got a special treat for you because Chris is standing by in the wings. He's going to share with you some some pretty incredible information. We're going to try and get it all done in this segment. But here's what I've got to say about Chris. Chris joined Lifestyles Unlimited about seven years ago, and he went to work immediately changing the trajectory of his life. He's he's totally transitioned away from what he was doing into what he's doing now. And what he's doing now is, well, he's just acting like a sophisticated and fully accredited real estate investor should act successful. You heard me correctly, very successful. As a matter of fact, I have a business relationship with Chris, and I've had the opportunity to to actually look at some of the deals that he is he has put out to the Lifestyles Unlimited community, and and the one that he is going to talk about at our expo next week is one that I really wanted to get into, but I just didn't have any cash at the time. So I had to sit on the sidelines. But amazingly enough, it's really neat when you're a part of the Lifestyles Unlimited community, even though that you're not financially invested in a deal, you still get to watch these deals mature because our members come back and they share information with each other. And that's exactly what Chris is going to do as part of our master's road trip next week, which is a portion of our Wealth and Passive Income Expo. If you want free tickets to the Wealth and Passive Income Expo, shoot me an email at askal at luinc.com and I'll get you connected. Now, what I want to do now is I want to bring Chris on because I want you to hear from this young man. He is he has bought and operated four different apartment communities as a lead investor. And he has transitioned from what I would call somebody who's in the learning and figuring it out stage to that stage where he's got it all dialed in and he is focused on helping other people. So with no further ado, welcome to the show, Chris. Thank you, sir, for having me. Oh, it's it's a pleasure. I'm sorry, sorry we only have such limited time. But the one thing that, that struck me about this apartment community when, when you put the information out was, was how god awful ugly this thing was i mean it was like every it was it was like my my grandmother had had bought it and and lived in it for 30 years and we had to remove her from the property that's that's what that place kind of looked like but that's not what it looks like now is it 
No, absolutely not. You know, even though they, they had, when we were going through the acquisition process, they had mentioned that they had done a recent repaint. I mean, we kind of, we kind of questioned just based on the design aspect of itself, you know, it, it just looked dated and, and they had only owned it for about three years at that point. So said we, we truly questioned whether they had painted it or not. Anyways, from a curb, curb appeal aspect, there was a significant growth uh, capabilities just by, you know, changing the exterior color alone. What about the financials on this property? Because I think that's that's really part of where your home run is coming from, is it not? It, it was you understanding that there were some operational inefficiencies in, in this complex, and you were able to correct those as well as the, the ugliness effect, too. So it is, it is a little unique. Um, the 178-unit uh, property in a, in a very um, affluent area of, of Kingwood, or of Houston, Texas, and it's um, so that's a very good suburb of Houston, and it um, you know it's surrounded by you know three four hundred thousand dollar homes, so the average income in the area is very high. It has had a lot of potential because it was being operated very inefficiently. They weren't doing a lot of deferred maintenance, you know, replacing air conditioners with a more energy efficient ones. They weren't, you know, taking care of the exterior, you know, just, just basic stuff could have helped the property run more efficiently by, you know, reducing the number of headcount needed, reducing the energy cost. Um, being that it was master metered, we do it's called a ratio utility billing back to the resident. But, you know, if, if those bills are high, it's harder to get rent. So if we're trying to increase rent a significant amount, when they do get those bills from you as well, it just, uh, I wouldn't say it necessarily leaves a sour taste in their mouth. It just it's like, well, it's, it's hard to increase rent because I'm having to pay this bill too. So, you know, anything we could do to help drive down those bills and increase the actual value of the property being the rent, that's what we were looking to do. Yeah, I think from the, the residents' perspective, it, it sort of feels like you're piling on and, and you you moved away from that. So they, they really feel like you're on their side. Correct. So here's the, here's the question I've got, because this is what everybody wants to hear. If, if somebody was invested with you, let's say they, they put $100,000 into this deal. I, I did not put any money into this deal because I was broke at the time. But let's say I put 100000 in this deal. What is this deal doing for me over time? It's returning money to you on a quarterly basis. That's music then- to my ears. And in the long term, you know, we've added value, you know, here recently, everybody knows uh, uh, inflation has set in pretty hard due to the pandemic and, you know, government uh, continuing to print cash that, um, you know, inflation, like I said, is set in, causing the value of everything to go up. Well, in real estate, you know, everybody in these times try to park their money in, in uh, fixed assets. So uh, the value of this property has increased quite substantially since we've, uh, we took over. Do you, do you have a lot of people hounding you to, to sell? Absolutely. You actually have debt on this property, do you not? Correct. I actually uh, assumed the debt from the previous um, the previous owner. And the reason why I did that is the defeasance penalty was quite substantial, and that's just uh, a, basically a penalty that you have to pay to, to uh, put new debt on, right? They, they had securitized this debt for a long-term period of time, but I believed in the asset. I believed in the area that I was willing to take that risk to assume assume the debt myself. So, And are you worried about interest rates adjusting upwards? I mean, would that affect that debt? Uh, not at this time because, you know, we acquired it what, almost two and a half years ago. So at that time, interest rates were actually, you know, higher than they are now. Even if I were to come out of this, you know, in the next two or three years, depending on what interest rates do, it could actually be lower than what I had acquired it at. See, here's here's the neat thing that I'm I'm getting at, Chris. That debt is sitting there, and it's a big chunk of the the cost of going in to that apartment community. But that debt doesn't get any of that equity growth that you have created, does it? In the long term, I don't have any interest only on this, so it's, it's a principal paydown. So I am adding value. You know, with the principal pay down as well on this debt. Man, I'll tell you, it's 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 a beautiful time to be in real estate because there's there's nothing changing on your asset, and the market is assisting you with pushing rents up, but your debt isn't really going up in cost. So that really makes an opportunity for you to make more money for yourself and for all of your investors, does it not? 
Absolutely. So now I guess we're just we're just going to have to figure out, you know, okay, what is what is the actual inflation cost out there? But I guess we don't worry about that because historically we know that real estate always outpaces inflation. Uh, it's the only asset class that does it. Pretty much, yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I, I see. I just get excited about these these apartments, and and I just love what you've done with this particular apartment. And I want people to understand that when they get the opportunity to see you at the apartment, it's it's not a, a look how pretty Chris made the the property. It's it's all about look at what Chris did to improve the income streams and the operations of this property, which is pushing the value of the property up so much that he has people trying to beat down his door to buy it from him. Absolutely. And you're willing Absolutely. to share with anybody how you do it, as long as they're a Lifestyles Unlimited member, correct? Correct. Fair enough. Fair enough. So is it is it safe to say that you don't mess around with your W-2 stuff anymore? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I, I retired quote unquote retired, uh, three years ago at this point. So, you know, it was great. I don't look back, you know, it's funny. I, uh, I drove by my old work location the other day and I, when I drove by, I'm like, Oh, Oh, you didn't shed a tear. No, no, no. It cringed. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Chris, we're at the end of the show, my friend. Hey, how old are you anyway? Uh, 38, be 39 this year. 39. Okay. So, Chris, thanks for being on the show. And I just want you all to know that at the age of 36, he wrecked a career in oil and gas. And now he's doing real estate. He's got his life back and he's going to, he'll share everything with you, but you just got to come check out Lifestyles Unlimited. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show constitutes an endorsement recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.